declarations of conflict? Nope. Hearing none. Um, can we get approval of the agenda for today? I'll, I'll move it. Thank you. Sharon will second it. Thanks, Sharon. So moved and second. Okay. Um, adoption of the minutes from our last meeting, which was August 7th. Nope. Thank you. Okay. Is is there any business arising from those minutes? Okay. He hearing none, we we can move into the first report. It's uh, fifty five Chestnut Street, I believe. I believe Greg has that file. Yeah. So this is uh, an application. At 55 Chestnut Street, they are looking to change the design of what was previously approved. So they signed a development agreement in December 2017, which basically says when you go to construct this building, you, you need to get design review approval. So that uh, took place on October 30th, 2018. And they started building the building um, and then uh, decided to change their plans on February 3rd, 2020. So the first approval was under the previous design review board. Uh, the February 2020 approval was under your uh, folks' jurisdiction. Um, so there was some changes made. And once again, uh, they're looking for the next phase of the permit and have um, done some work to the building, which was not part of the February 2020 approval. So um, when we were out in the site inspection, we said this is different than than what we previously approved, and you have to get reapproval. So um, bear with me here. I'll try to go through all the changes. Uh, they are in your report if you want to follow along. But basically, where originally it was approved in October 2018, revised February 2020, and then most recently now uh, August 25th, 2020 is what we'd be looking at. So uh, February is the above, and uh, August is the below photo. This is the south elevation facing Chestnut Street. So the only change really is uh, there There wasn't uh, brick on the first floor in the first uh, in February rendering, but now there is to reflect the left side of the photo. I think this was an oversight in the first one um, and uh, clearly is a benefit for the, the second part. So I'll skip. Uh, so this is the south or the, the north elevation. This is the back facing the other building. Um, so there's significant changes here on the back, um, really on the right-hand side. So the left hand, for the most part, is the same. The uh, Some grills on the left side are a little different, but really the changes are on the right side. So you can kind of see uh, the main thing was there was considerably more windows in the February photo and uh, no balconies on the right-hand side. Um, on the, uh, the August uh, rendering, the windows are smaller, three balconies, and uh, and uh, on the back and three on the side. And the reason, I guess, for this was in uh, in the original plan, the uh, stairway uh, was kind of on the, the left-hand side of the red box, and that got changed to the far right. Um, so in doing so, they had to redesign all the units, and uh, this is what they are proposing. Um, so I'll just keep going through the elevations, and then we can talk about any of them in particular. Um, so this would be the east elevation. It'd be facing uh, 63 Chestnut Street. So it's facing an existing uh, dwelling. Um, again, this is uh, fairly significant changes. Um, the, I didn't put a box around it because really it's the whole facade that's different. Um, you can kind of go through the details and see what's different between the two but essentially the the main design thing that i noticed obviously aside from windows um uh, was the uh we can see the the change in material um uh, on the on the top photo from february it extends um approximately 34 feet around the building so the front facade wraps around the building but in the second one uh it, it wraps significantly further at uh, 48 feet so you can kind of see how the, the brick and the different color vinyl on top wraps further from left to right, I guess. And finally, the west elevation, which faces a uh, vacant property. 
on Chestnut Street. Uh, again, significant changes, uh, primarily the changes of the additional balconies on the left-hand side of the August 25 uh, uh, photo. So if you recall, the approval we made in February was to remove those balconies, which in staff's opinion was aesthetically not as nice, but um, did give more of a buffer from the adjacent property. Uh, but in this case, they're looking to put them back in due to the reconfiguration of the stairwell and units. So again, I, I'll go back to the start. If anyone wants to ask any questions, I can try to answer and go through the differences. Um, but essentially, we have three options to approve them, um, to approve them with changes or to reject them. Um, so, so yeah, I'll, I'll open it back up to anyone who wants to talk. Okay, thanks, Greg. M maybe uh, would it be easier just to do it one at a time, guys, and, and then make comments or, or suggestions? Yeah, we could approve, like, facade by facade. Okay. Or, uh, yeah. okay. Any, any, any comments, concerns, questions from the board? It was delicious. Thank you. That was lovely. Greg, what, uh, I guess from your perspective, what, what do you think of, of the changes as you go through the slides? Yeah, I mean, this south elevation, I think, is positive. Uh, okay. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. I think it was an oversight in the first one. Um, okay. So I think, I think uh, more come into the, this next slide. Uh, uh, I guess the problem that I run into personally is that this is the at least the third time we've taken it through. Um, and they continue to change and, and this this most recent work I mean if you walk down there you'll see the window configuration as the as you see here so the work's already done um, it took me probably a month or two just to get plans of what they actually did um, so to kind of continually get approval just to change it is frustrating on staff's part and obviously takes your time as well to to have to meet every time to review it um, but I guess the, the, with this project, it is outside the 500 lot area. Uh, it's not really subject to design review other than that we voluntarily did it because they were demolishing a number of somewhat important properties, uh, that weren't designated. Um, so, I mean, the changes for the most part on this facade, the balconies are, are kind of key. They, uh, there'll be balconies above the parking garage but again they face it's the back of the building it's just a gray vinyl facade um, faces the other back of the building probably less okay. concerning but, but yeah. okay so so to to the board the first slide there the the brick on the on the lower i guess right of the facade is are, are we okay with with the brick addition, right? Yeah, right there. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So just flip to the second one there, Greg, that you just illustrated with the balconies and uh, yeah. Any any comments or concerns regarding this this particular thought of the building? Those are some very significant changes, Jason. Uh, do you have any issues with them, Greg? Or yeah, I guess, uh, like, whether they're windows or doors, I mean, the, I think the, the addition of windows on the back was kind of one of the things we touched on at the last meeting in February. So all those extra windows was, was nice to have on a back facade. Um, now they're uh, less windows and three patio doors. But again, I mean, they're, they're on the back of the building facing the back of another building. You likely won't see it unless you walk behind the building. Um, so it's probably not overly concerning other than the fact that it's it's uh, done without a permit and whatever else. I mean, if, if we were to reject it, then they would have to do some significant work to the property. Okay. 
Do you think the patios add to it, Craig? Um, probably uh, to the units on the interior. From the from the exterior, I, uh, I mean, you can kind of go either way. I think the the big windows were nice, just kind of uh, more symmetry on the back, uh, all windows. But but I, I don't know if it really takes away a whole lot on the back. I think the um, I, I guess the other thing too, this like I said, is it's outside the five hundred lot area, so there's really no design standards. It's more. I don't want to say personal opinion, but I mean, some people will probably like the patios and some would probably like the extra windows, but as far as unit wise, I'm sure the patio is nicer to have. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other, any other comments? Um, what percentage is the building done? Is it half done? Uh, well, this, uh, first photo I took, uh, probably start of August. Um, so all the windows are in place. They they have the interior framed. Um, it's not drywalled or insulated that I'm aware of. Um, but yeah, really, uh, it, it's all closed in per se. It doesn't have the the siding on it, but the windows are all in place. Okay. So it's brick and so the facade is brick and metal. Is that what you, is, is that? Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's vinyl and and uh, brick. I'm not okay, mistaken. Vinyl and brick. Well, you know, I, I went by it there, and it looks like it's about half done. So, you know. So the top photo is what they, they were approved for, and the bottom is essentially what they did. Yeah. I mean, like staff, it puts the board at a difficult spot, too, because you're essentially approving something that is there already. Yeah. In, instead of seeing it from the start and say, yeah. So are you okay with it? Um, yeah, I mean, staff are recommending approval of this, all the changes, but uh, it's definitely a, a difficult one for, for staff. I think if this was in the downtown 500 lot area, where there are design standards and design review is required and they just went ahead and changed it, I think we'd have more of an opinion. Um, but in this case, it is outside the 500 lot area. Is it is the patio doors instead of the windows? Are they really offensive? Probably not. But at the same time, it, it's just the procedural aspect is not done properly. The process was done wrong. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Anyway, it's there. It's probably half done. Um, Hi. Sorry. No, go ahead, Ken. Well, it's it's half done. I I guess. I, and if the and if the um, planning has no problem with it, I I have no problem with it. Okay. Is this one of those ones that I'm just butting in here? You know, when people don't follow process and don't follow the rules, that there is some sort of a fine or something for. For the developers um i mean the extent of what we can do as a department is double their fee for for the interior renovations that they're proposing to do now but as far as fines we we really don't have much mechanism to do anything it's sharon here just wondering if the next build they do we can uh sort of ensure that they follow regulations can you keep them on file as keep a closer eye on them as they're building yeah no i think uh, i think this developer is definitely on our radar <laughs> um, it's not the first project he's done and it's not the first one we've had to deal with without a permit but i think every stage of this project was a little uh, premature and um, i guess when when it comes to stop work orders and and such it usually comes down to safety issues and um, I don't have the ability to issue them, so that's it's probably something better suited if Alex was at the meeting. But yeah, no, he's definitely uh, this. This project was definitely on our radar. Okay, and I think we should double their whatever we everything we can do. We should exactly. Okay, I can definitely make note of that. Okay, so um, do you want to go to the next slide, or I guess? Overall, is that kind of the, the consensus that it, it's there and we're okay with it? But um, you know, there'd be a there'd be a note uh, going forward in the file, or 
how do you want to proceed? Yeah, if you guys are okay with the changes, we can uh, say the uh, proposed changes are acceptable subject to the uh, uh, permit fee being doubled for the work that was done without a permit kind of thing, or change to a approval kind of thing. Okay. So as a board, are we are we okay with, with what Greg just mentioned? Yes. I think so. Okay. Okay. So, do, do do we need a resolution there? Yeah, we will. We will okay. need a resolution. Okay. So, just does somebody? Okay. I think Sharon said she's okay. Oh, I, I, I'll move. I'll move okay. that it goes through. And I think there should be a letter written that you know um, that there's a process and the process should be followed. You know. Okay. Yeah. This won't happen again. Okay, so um, Ken moved it, Sharon second. If there's any, is there any other questions on, on that piece? Okay, all in favor of, of that recommendation? Aye. 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 Okay, anyone opposed? Okay, hearing no one, thank you. Okay. Um, Second, uh, the second uh, application, 139 Fitzroy Street. Greg, you have have that one also. If you wanna, if you wanna hmm. start with that. So this uh, this application was last in front of the board on August seventh, I believe. Um, at which time they submitted three uh, different renderings, and it was kind of discussed at the meeting that it's not the role of you folks to. Um, pick which one you prefer. Um, the role is to take one final design and, and give your comments accordingly. Um, that uh, so the the motion that was passed last meeting on August seventh was that it was deferred until one final uh, concept plan with renderings uh, were submitted to show how it would fit into the built environment and ascend into uh, the design reviewer. So the applicant submitted a final design on uh, August 25th, and we sent it to the design reviewer who indicated that uh, he reviewed it, the current proposal and the design closely reflect his comments and his earlier reviews. Uh, he felt it was a much improved design and felt that it uh, reflects the outcome that he was expecting from the applicant. Um, so this is uh, one rendering, I guess, um, on the left side. Uh, sorry, this is the straight on. Um, so basically, they would be using much of the existing panels. Um, there'd be gray brick along the bottom, uh, you know, using stainless steel. Uh, sections with uh, colored glass and then uh, wood screening kind of to fill in the rest. Um, it would not wrap around either side and it would just be the three blocks. So um, the designer viewer also had a few suggestions in addition to his comments. Um, so the first would be that all um, existing uh, precast panels would be gray to match the existing uh, brick. Um, so to paint them all. Uh, the uh, to locate a strip LED light instead of the uh, uh, up and down lights that they're proposing on the you know, on the precast blocks in between. So he was proposing lights underneath um, so that all light would be directed up and and kind of accentuate the panels instead of uh, kind of having lights in in the columns in between each of the big panels. That makes sense, and uh, they, he also suggested that we receive samples of the prose material and color before um, physically uh, constructing the the panels. But yeah, essentially, the, the the two changes he'd like to see is paint all the precast gray and um, locate the lights at the bottom or top of each of the um, sections. I guess there's there's eight sections there, and each each of the eight sections instead of having the up and down lights between each of the main main uh, columns. 
So again, the board kind of has three decisions to approve it uh, as, as submitted, to approve it as submitted with the additional suggestions provided by Mr. Matthews or, or reject the uh, submission. And should you reject it, it would go to council for final approval. Okay, thanks, Greg. Uh, Any, um, oh, go ahead, Sharon. I, I just wanted to say if we're uh, putting lights in, we put them pointing down and not pointing up. Yeah, so the way, way he indicated uh, what he was suggesting was put the LED lights at the bottom so they shine upwards uh, so it hides the light source. Okay. Or, or if you're putting them at the top, uh, uh, city. if you put them on the top, then to kind of put a shield to uh, block the, the light source at the top and just let the light come down. So kind of yeah. one or the other. It's just, yeah. Just try to keep as much light going down. So you would suggest the, the down lights with the shield instead of the up lights? Well, yeah, in the future, hopefully we have more lights pointing down than pointing up to the sky to just add a little bit more uh, lack of light pollution. Mm -hmm. Very Art Deco. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's definitely um, it, it. It does it does reflect kind of his his early drawings, which I can pull up too if you want to see. But uh, yeah, Greg, it's can you hear me? I can. Um, Brian was the guy seen to be concerned about what's happening with the front of the building. Any, anyway, um, it looks like what they're trying to do is, if you go down the street there at the trail side, they're trying to match something up with that, which is not a bad idea. Do you know what I mean? Exactly, yeah. You know, um, that's sort of the entertaining block there. Um, Seems to be Brian, Brian's not at the meeting today, is he? He's not, no. Yeah, because he, he was the person that wanted to see the drawings, right? And yeah. what was going on, you know? The um, new look certainly ties in better, like you say, with the the new hotel. Do you know, Greg, if they tried to do that, try, uh, tried to tie it in with the, uh, with the colored panels there in the front? Do you know if they... Um, I don't know if it was intentional. Um, I think uh, uh, I, I know one of the very first renderings we had was very similar to a, an old rendering of the hotel that, that didn't get constructed. Um, the, they, they reflected very similarly, but uh, the, the hotel got toned, the scale down quite a bit, and, uh, yeah. and this project obviously doesn't have the, the full steel uh, facade for the full four floors like it originally did. Yeah, um, so so they kind of both got scaled down. I don't know if they were reflected off each other or just yeah. the style of the day, but yeah. Okay. Any more um, questions or or comments for Greg? Um, sorry, sorry, um, Greg. You know you. you what, what does your department think of this proposal? Yeah, I mean, ultimately, the uh, I'm, I'm not necessarily a, an architect or designer, so uh, I think we definitely defer to what the designer viewer uh, is suggesting in, yeah. in any designer view application. Um, he seemed uh, quite positive, um, so yeah. uh, staff are recommending approval. Um, but would definitely incorporate any suggestions that he had. I mean, um, in the end, I don't have the experience in, in design that, that he does, and uh, we would always defer to them. But um, he seems comfortable with, as long as a few changes were made. So yeah. we would, well, we would uh, trust that. Yeah. yeah. Well, this has been kicked around a little bit, as you know, right? So. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I would go with the design reviewer, you know, I'm, I'm in agreement with what the design reviewer is saying, you know, 
and it, you know. Yeah. So, it, so it would have been nice to have Brian. You know, Brian wanted to have a look at drawings and that, and all of a sudden he's not looking. You know, do you know what I mean? Anyway, mm-hmm. that's another. Yeah. Um, yeah. So would your motion be to approve it with the three changes uh, suggested by Mr. Matthews, um, with the exception of the light being downward facing and shielded instead of upward facing? Yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm not understand. you know, you know that lighting, it's, it's, it's going to be pointing down or it's going to be pointing up. I just didn't follow that, sorry. Um, what they're proposing, you can kind of see, uh, you see them around town, but they're on this rendering too. It's, uh, they, they shoot up and down. Yeah. Uh, so sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Yeah. So Greg, they're the same lights as if you were walking down by the Basilica there, um, on, uh, what's Sydney street. And you looked over at, uh, the back of Victoria row, right? That's what they're proposing, isn't it? Uh, I'm not sure off the top of my head, but what uh, yeah, that, what they're proposing is kind of the, the their cylinders. They have lights at the top and bottom. Yeah. Um, and then and then what Mr. Matthews is suggesting is instead of those, put like an LED strip light uh, at the bottom or top. Uh, but if at the top, you should shield it. So basically, those panels would be accentuated instead of the columns in between the panels. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So is is that okay, Ken? That that answer. I know you're. Yeah, I'm. At... I'm just trying to. I'm trying to visualize it. I mean, okay. I think. I think. Like I, you know, from a personal point of view, I mean, Jason, there's a. It's a parking garage, right? You know, there's. It's limited, right? Let's just say, put it that way, tactfully. Yeah. So, um, I, I, I agree with the design reviewer. I, I like the colors because if you go down three or four buildings, there's lots of colors there, and I think this is going to be the entertainment strip, you know? Um, so, uh, I, I'm just not sure how that lighting works. I, I'm just, I was just trying to picture, picture it being the same as the lights that if you go down Sydney Street and you look over back at Victoria Road, those lights shoot up and down, and they're okay. Okay. Do you know? Do you know what? Do you know what? Which lights I'm talking about on the back of Victoria Road? Yeah, now, I, I can't pitch them. But Sharon, what were you saying about the lights? You want well, them coming it, from the bottom? Just, no, from the top. Just okay. Um, the less light we put into the going upwards, the better, in my opinion just coming from an environmental feel. And, um, okay. Just hopefully in the future, that's what we continue to think of in any bills. Okay. Yeah. So Jason? Yes. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll move, I'll move that, uh, you know, as the planning department says, you know, um, they're happy with it, and uh, your consultant there, uh, the design reviewer, um, and and it has been around, so you know it's been kicked around a bit. So uh, I move that uh, we approve the way it is. Okay, thanks. So just for reference, uh, can you see the slide on the screen now? It kind of shows what kind of strip LED lighting would look like. So you'd have something like that at the top, and it does kind of project light downwards. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, uh, this was kind of the example of what... Uh, second here. This is kind of the example of what they're proposing. Yeah, yeah. Where it has kind of uh, light, light projects upwards and down. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it, it doesn't give Sharon. It doesn't give a lot of light going upwards. If it's it's it looks like it's the same lighting is on the brick buildings on Sydney Street. Mm-hmm. So what what Mr. Matthews is proposing would be something along these lines, whether it's at the top or the bottom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like the top. Yeah. That's my two cents worth. Yeah. Um, just a quick question. Uh, Greg, 
Um, what did they do for lighting? Um, and, and again, I'm going back to the trail side because that's a, a new facade on there. What did they do for lighting at the trail side? Do you remember when it was going through per, for approval? Or is no, it that, uh, I don't. Uh, I don't personally recall what they have on. No, that's that's fine. I just yeah. thought you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Mr. Chair, I I move that uh, we approve it. You know, it's you know, it's there's. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Ken. Okay, <laughs> you're welcome. It's, it's Chris here. I uh, I think they did a great job with the panels, bringing it down, making the building look a little lower than it is, and I'd love to second it. Okay. Thanks, Chris. Okay, so. We have a motion uh, on the floor, moved and second. Any any discussion regarding that? And then I just I clarify that it does include the the uh, comments from Robert Matthews, or as is, I guess. Ken, do you want to include the, the um, design just, reviewer just quickly, comments? Or? Quickly go through the comments by Mr. Matthews. Uh, really, the main two would be to to paint all the precast uh, gray uh, kind of to match the exterior of the panels um, and uh, and then the, the LED lights. Yeah. Mm. I really don't think it's going to make a big difference, you know. So he, he's proposing to remove those lights, um, put the the LED lights at the bottom or top of each of those panels and, and then paint everything kind of the same color. Is that, um, is that something that we want to see in there or like I say, are we okay with, um, um, without, those, I guess, two um, suggestions. Yeah. There's probably a reason why he wants to paint, like, the, for the blending of the whole thing, I would think, from old to new, isn't there? I think the idea is that uh, the, the precast structures have a design of their own and, and he's trying to accentuate those larger new panels. Um, so to to kind of paint the whole building the same color as, as the edge of those panels, it, it brings the focus to, um, to the panels and not the precast material around it, I guess. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, okay. So it's it's moved and, and second. Any any other comments? No, no, I don't think so. Okay. Okay. So all in, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Is, is there anyone opposed? Okay. Hearing hearing no one. That's. That's approved. Okay. Is so. So it is with the changes. The proposed changes or without? Yes. Yeah, the proposed changes. I think, Greg. That's okay. what we. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Perfect. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. Is is there um any introduction of new business? Okay. Hearing hearing none. Just need a motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Hope everyone enjoys their long weekend. Thanks, Casey. You did a good job. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Okay. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye.